Oh. Here, Master, what's here? the Mariners. Fall to it, Yarly, or you run ourselves the ground. Mister, Mister. Hang my heart. Take in the top sail. Now keep below. Where's the master, Bosin? Do you not hear? You mar our labor. Keep to your cabins. You do assist the storm. Nay, good. Be patient. You are a counselor. If you can command these elements to silence, use your authority. If you cannot, make yourself ready in your cabins below. Out of our way, I say. Down with the top man! Yeah! Lower! Lower! Yet again! What do you hear? Shall we give over and drown? Have you a mind to sink? A pox in your throat, you bawling blasphemous and charitable dog! Well, work you then! Hang, car, hang, you horse of insolent noisemaker! Layer a hold, a hold! We split! We split! All lost! The prayers, the prayers, all lost! All lost, all lost! Farewell, brother! Farewell, my wife and children. Ferdinand! Ferdinand! Hell is empty, and all the devils are here. Not what I give a thousand furlongs of sea for an acre of barren ground. I would fain die a dry death. If by your art, my dearest father, you have put the wild waters in this roar, allay them. The sky, it seems, would pour down stinking pitch. But the sea, mounting to the welkin's cheek, dashes the fire out. Oh, brave vessel, dashed to pieces. Poor souls, they perished. No more amazement. Tell your piteous heart there's no harm done. Oh, woe the day. No harm. I've done nothing but in care of thee. Of thee, my dear one, of thee my daughter, who art ignorant of what thou art, not knowing of whence I am. More to know did never meddle with my thoughts. Tis time, twelve years since, Miranda, twelve years since. Thy father was the Duke of Milan and Prince of Power. Oh, the heavens! What foul play had we that we came from thence? Or blessed was we did? Both, both, my girl, by foul play, as thou sayest, what we heaved thence, but blessedly halt hither. Please you, farther. My brother and thy uncle called Antonio, he whom next thyself of all the world I love, and to put him the manager of my state. Me, poor man, my library was dukedom large enough. I, thus neglecting worldly ends, in my false brother awakened an evil nature, in my trust, like a good parent, did beget of him a falsehood. Your tale, sir, would cure deafness. Oh, that a brother should be so perfidious of temporal royalties. He thinks me now incapable, confederates with the king of Naples, to most ignoble stooping. Oh, heavens, to think good wombs have borne bad sons. The king Alonso and his scheming brother Sebastian, both being enemies to me, inveterate, Hearken, my brother's suit, a treacherous army levied, one midnight, fated to the purpose, said Antonio, open the gates of Milan, and in the dead of darkness, the ministers, for the purpose, hurried thence, me and thy crying self. Alack, for pity, wherefore did they not that hour destroy us? 
dear, they durst not. So dear the love of my people bore me, but with colours fairer paint to their foul ends. In few they hurried us aboard a bark, bore some leagues to sea, where they prepared a rotting carcass of a boat. There they hoist us to cry to the sea that roared to us, to sigh to the winds whose pity sit sighing back again, did us but loving wrong. Alack, what trouble was I then to you? Oh, you cherubim, thou wast that did preserve me. How came we ashore? By providence divine. Some food we had and some fresh water that a kindly, noble counsellor, Gonzalo, out of his charity did give us. And knowing I loved my books, he furnished from my own library with volumes that I prize above my dukedom. Would I might but ever see that man. Here in this island we arrive, and here have I, thy schoolmaster, made thee more profit than any other princesses can that have more time for vainer hours and tutors not so careful. Heavens thank you for it. And now I pray you, sir, for still tis beating in my mind your reason for raising the sea storm. By accident most strange, bountiful fortune, now my dear lady, hath mine enemies brought to the shore, and by my presence I find my zenith doth depend upon a most auspicious star. Here. Cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Come away, servant, come. I am ready now. Approach, my Ariel, come. Oh, hail, great master, great sir, hail. I come to answer thy best pleasure. Be it to fly, to swim, to dive into the fire, to ride in the curl of clouds, to thy strong bidding tusk, Ariel, and all his quality. Hast thou spirit performed to appoint the tempest that I bade thee? To every article. I boarded the king's ship, now in the beak, now in the waist, the deck, in every cabin, I flamed amazement. My brave spirit, but are they, Ariel, safe? Not a hair perished, and troops have dispersed him about the isle. The king's son have been landed by himself, whom I left cooling of the air with sighs. Of the king's ship? Sleefly in harbor. The mariners all under hatch stood, who I have left asleep. Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Since thou dost give me pains, let me remember thee what thou hast promised, which is not yet performed me. How now, Moody? What is thou canst demand? My liberty. Remember I have done thee worthy service without grudge or grumblings. Dost thou forget from what a torment I did free thee? No. Thou dost. I do not, sir. Thou liest, malignant thing. Hast thou forgot the foul which Sycrax? Hast thou forgot her? No, sir. Thou hast. This damned which Sycrax, this blue-eyed hag, was hither brought with child. Yes, Caliban, her son. And here was left by the sailors, thou my slave, as thou reportest thyself. She did confine thee into a cloven pine, within which rift imprisoned thou didst plainfully remain a dozen years. Thou best knowst what torment I did find thee in. Thy groans did make wolves howl. It was mine art when I arrived and heard thee that made gape the pine and let thee out. I thank thee, master. I will be correspondent to command and do my spiriting gently. Do so, and after two days I will discharge thee. That's my noble master. What shall I do? Say one, what shall I do? Go, make, your, make thyself like a nymph of the sea, invisible to every eyeball else. Go hence with diligence. My lord, it shall be done. Awake, dear heart, awake, thou hast slept well. The strangeness of your story put heaviness in me. Shake it off, come on, shake it off. We'll visit Caliban, my slave, who never yields this kind answer. Come on. <gasps> tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. But as tis, we cannot miss him. What ho, Caliban? There's one enough within. Come forth, 
There's other business for thee. Come, thou tortoise. As we could do, as the hair drop on you both and blister you all over. For this be sure, tonight thou shalt have cramps, side stitches that pen thy breath up. This island's mine, by Sikarax, my mother, which thou takest from me when thou camest fast. Thou strokest me and madest much of me, which give me water of it, berries in it, and teach me how to name the bigger light, and teach me that, and then I, I love thee. Curse be that I did. So here you sty me in this hard rock, while you do keep from me the rest of my island. Thou most lying slave, I have used thee, filth as thou art. With human care I lodged thee in mine own cell, until thou did seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh, 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 what's that, what's had been done? I had peopled else's iron with caribans. I pitied thee, took pains to make thee speak, taught thee each hour one thing or other. You taught me language, and my prophet aunt, and I know how to curse. The red plague rid you for learning me your language. Hag seed hence, fetch us fuel, and be quick, thou art best. <sighs> I must obey the earth, just power. Where should this music be? In the air of the earth, sing our thanked this music crept. By upon the waters dense I followed it, or half a drummy rapper. Adam by thy father lies, of his pearl made. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Suffer a sea change into something rich and strange. Seeing him sadly ring his knell. Hark, now I hear them ding dong bell. Diddy does remember my drawn father. The fringed curtains of thine eye advance, and say, What thou seest yon. What is it? A spirit? Lord, how it looks about. Believe me, sir, it carries a brave form, but tis a spirit. No wench, it eats and sleeps, and hath such senses as we have such. This gallant which thou seest was in the wreck, and but he something stained with grief, that's beauty's kinker. Thou mightst call him a goodly person. I might call him a thing divine, for nothing natural I ever saw so noble. It goes on, I see, as my soul prompts it. Spirit, fine spirit, I will free thee within two days for this. Most sure, the goddess of whom these heirs attend. Oh, you wonder, be you a maid or no? No wonder, sir, but certainly a maid. My language, heavens! Oh! If your affection not gone forth, I'll make you the queen of Naples. They are both in Hyder's power, but this swift business I must uneasy make, lest two lights winning make the prize light. A word, good sir, I fear you have done yourself some wrong. A word! Why speaks my father so ungently? This is the third man I ever saw, the first I sighed for. Pity move my father be inclined this way. Soft, sir, I charge thee that thou hast put thyself upon this island as a spy to win it from me, the Lord Aunt. No, I am as a man. There's nothing ill can dwell on such a temple. 
Speak not you for him. He's a traitor. No, I will resist. Oh, dear father. Hence, hang not on my garments. Sir, have pity. I'll be his surety. Foolish wench. To most of men, this is a catty bag. And they to him are angels. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. Come on, obey. Thy nerves are in their infancy again, and have no vigor in them. So they are. My spirits, as in a dream, are all bound up. My father's lost the weakness which I feel, the wreck of all my friends, nor this man's frets. To whom I am subdued are but the light to me. Might I through my prison once a day behold this maid space enough? Have I in such a prison? It works. Come on! Be of comfort. My father's of better nature, sir, than he appears by speech. Come! Follow. Speak not for him. Beseech you, sir, be merry. You have cause, so have we all, of joy, for our escape is much beyond our loss. Then wisely, good sir, weigh our sorrow with our comfort. Prithy peace. The king, my brother, receives comfort like cold porridge. Gonzalo will not give him our so. When every grief that's entertained that's offered comes to the entertainer, I prithee spare. Well, I have done, but yet. He will be talking. The air breathes upon us here most sweetly. As if it had lungs and rotten ones. Or as if twere perfumed by a fen. Here is everything advantageous to life. Oh, true, save means to live. Of that there is none, or little. How lush and lusty the grass looks. How green. Methinks our garments seem now as fresh as when- You cram these words into mine ears against the stomach of my sense. My son is lost. Sir, he may live. I saw him beat the surges, his bold head above the continuous waves he kept, and oared himself with his good arms and lusty stroke. To the shore he came alive to- No, win. no, he's gone. Sir, you may thank yourself for this great loss. Prithy peace. The fault's your own. So is the dearest, oh, the loss. My lord Sebastian, the truth you speak doth lack some gentleness. And time to speak it in, you rub the sore when you should bring the plaster. Very well. And most surgeonly. It is foul weather in us all, good sir, when you are cloudy. Foul weather? Very foul. <laughs> Prithy. No more. Thou dost talk nothing to me. You are gentlemen of brave metal. Nay, good my lord, be not angry. <laughs> Will you laugh me asleep? For I am very heavy. Go asleep and hear us. I wish mine eyes would with themselves shut up my thoughts. I find them inclined to do so. Please, you, sir, do not omit the heavy offer of it. Sleep seldom visits sorrow. When it doth, it is a comforter. We too, my lord, shall guard your person while you take your rest and watch your safety. Thank you, wondrous heavy. <sighs> what a strange drowsiness possesses them. It is the quality of the climate. Why doth it not then our eyelids sink? I find not myself disposed to sleep. Nor I. My spirits are nimble. What might, worthy Sebastian? Oh, what might? My strong imagination sees a crown dropping upon thy head. What? Art thou waking? Do you not hear me speak? I do. 
And surely it is a sleepy language, and thou speakst out of thy sleep. Noble Sebastian, thy lest thy fortune sleep, die rather, winkst whilst thou art waking. Thou dost snore distinctly, there is meaning in thy snores. Will you grant with me that Ferdinand is drowned? He's gone. Then hear me. We all were sea swallowed, though some cast again, and by that destiny to perform an act whereof what's past is prologue. What to come in yours and my discharge. What stuff is this? How say you? Say this were death that now hath seized them. Why, they were no worse off than they now are. There be that can rule Naples as well as he that sleeps. What a sleep this were for your advancement. Do you understand me? He thinks I do. And how does your content tender your own good fortune? I remember you did supplant your brother Prospero. True. Look how well my garments sit upon me. But for your conscience? Aye, sir, where lies that? Here lies your brother, no better than the earth he lies upon. If he were that which now he's like, that's dead, whom I, with this obedient steel, three inches of it, can lay to bed forever. Thy case, dear friend, shall be my precedent. As thou godst Milan, I'll come by Naples. Draw thy sword. If of life you keep a care, shake off slumber and beware. Awake, awake. Now, good angels, preserve the king. Why? How now? Ho! Awake! Why are you drawn? Wherefore this ghastly looking? What's the matter? Wells, we stood here securing your repose. Even now, we, we heard a, a hollow burst of bellowing, like bulls or rather lions. Did it not wake you? It struck mine here most terribly. I heard nothing. Oh, t'was a noise to fright a monster's ear, to make an earthquake. Heard you this, Gonzalo? Upon mine honor, sir, I heard a humming, and at that a strange one, too, which did awake me. Tis best we stand our guard, or that we quit this place. Let off this ground. Let's make further search for my poor son. So, King, go safely on to seek thy son. Prospero, my lord, shall know what I have done. All the infections that the sun sucks up from bogs, fens, flats, on prosper and make him by inch mill a disease. His spirits hear me, yet I needs must curse. Lo, now lo, here comes a spirit of his, and to torment me for bringing wood in slowly, I'll fall flat, perchance he'll not find me. Here's neither bush nor shrub to bear of any weather at all, and another storm brewing. If it should thunder as it did before, I know not where to hide my head. What have we here? A man or fish, dead or alive, a fish? He smells like a fish, a very ancient and fish-like smell, a strange fix, light like a man and his fins like arms. Warm, oh my troth, this is no fish that an, but an islander that hath lately suffered a thunderbolt. Alas, the storm has come again. My best way is to creep under his garbadine. There's another other shelter hereabouts. Misery acquaints a man with strange bedfellows. I will hear shout to the dregs of storm pass. I shall no more to see to see. Here shall I die ashore. This is a very scurvy tune to sing at a man's funeral. Well, here's my comfort. 
do not torment me. Oh. What's the matter? Have we devils here? This is some monster of the isle with four legs who has got, as I take it, an agir. Where the devil should learn he where the devil should he learn our language? I will give him some relief, but it, it, if it be for that, do not torment me, pretty. I'll bring my one and home faster. Ooh. He's in his fit now, and he does not talk after the wisest. He shall he shall taste my of my bottle. If you have never drunk wine, where afore where? will go near to remove his fit. Come on your ways, open your mouth. This will shake your shaking, I can tell you, and that will sound you. I should know that voice. It should be, but he's drowned, and these are devils. Oh, defend me. Four legs and two voices, a most delicate monster. Come, amen. I will pour some in thy other mouth. <coughs> Stefano? If thou be Stefano, touch me and speak to me, for I'm thy good friend Trinculo. Thou art very Trinculo indeed. But art thou not drowned? And art thou living? O Stefano, two Neapolitans escaped. For thee, do not turn me about. My stomach is not constant. That's a god that bears celestial liquor. I will kneel to him for that liquor. It's not earthly. Oh, Stefano, hast any more of this? The whole butt, man. How now, Mooncalf? How does thine I you? Hast thou not dropped from heaven? I prithee be my god. By this light, a most perfidious and drunken monster. I'll show thee every fertile inch of this island. I'll show thee the best springs. I'll pluck thee berries. I'll fish for thee. And bring thee wood enough. A plague upon the tyrant that I serve. I'll bear him no more sticks, but follow thee, thou wondrous man. A most ridiculous monster, to make a wonder of a poor drunkard. I prithee now, lead the way without any more talking. Trinculo, the king and all our company, else being drowned, we will inherit here. A howling monster, a drunken monster. Ben, Ben, Caliban has a new master. Get a new man! Freedom! Hate it! Hate it! Freedom! Freedom! Hate it! Freedom! Oh brave monster, lead the way. There be some sports are painful, and their labor delights in them sets off. This, my mean task, would be as heavy to me as odious. But ah, the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead, and makes my labor's pleasures. Oh, she is ten times more gentle than her father's crabbed, and he's composed of harshness. I shall move some thousands of these logs and pile them up. But these sweet thoughts do even refresh my labors. Alas, now, pray you, work not so hard. When this log, when this log burns, twill weep for having wearied you. My father is hard at study. Pray now, rest yourself. He's safe for these three hours. Oh, most dear mistress, the sun will set before I shall discharge what I must strive to do. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. No, precious creature, I'd rather crack my sinews, break my back then you should such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. It would become me as well as it does you, and I should do it with much more ease, for my good will is to it, and yours it is against. Poor worm, thou art infected. You look warily. No, noble mistress, tis fresh morning with me when you are by at night. 
What is your name? Miranda. Admired Miranda. Indeed, the top of admiration. Worth what's dearest to the world. You, oh you, so perfect and so peerless, are created of every creature's best. I would not wish any companion in the world but you, nor can imagination form a shape besides yourself to like of. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you did my heart fly to your service. There resides to make me slave to it. And for your sake, I am this patient log man. Do you love me? Oh, heaven, oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world to love, prize, honor you? I am a fool to weep at what I am glad of. My mistress, dearest, and I thus humble ever, here's my hand. In mine, with my heart in it, and now farewell till half an hour hence. A thousand thousand. Fair encounter of two most rare affections. Heaven's reign grace on that which breeds between them. All to my book, for at ear supper time I must perform, much business appertaining. Servant monster, drink to me. Servant monster, the folly of this island. My man monster, by this light thou shalt be my lieutenant. Your lieutenant? Will not run, Monsieur Monster. Nor go neither, but you lie like dogs, yet say nothing neither. I'll not serve him. He's not valiant. Thou liest, most ignorant monster. Why, thou debauched fish, thou. Was there ever such a coward hath drunk so much as sack as I today? Lo, how he mocks me. Wilt thou let him, my lord? Trinculo, keep a good tongue on your head. The poor monster is my subject, and he shall not suffer indignity. I think, my noble lord, wilt thou be pleased to hearken once again to the suit I made to thee? Merry will I, and so shall Trinculo. As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, but that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. Thou liest. Thou liest. Thou, jesting monkey, thou, I do not lie. Trinculo, if you trouble him any more in tail, by this hand I will supplant some of your teeth. Why? I say nothing. Mum, then, and no more. Proceed. I say, by sorcery he got the sile, from me he got it. If thy greatness will revenge it on him, thou shalt be lord of it, and I'll serve thee. How now shall be this compassed? Canst thou bring me to the party? Yea, yea, my lord, I'll yield him thee asleep, where thou mayst knock a nail into his head. Thou liest, thou canst not. Thou scurvy patch. Trinculo, interrupt the monster one word further, and by this hand I shall make a stockfish of thee. Why, what did I? I did nothing. Didst thou not say he lied? Thou liest. Do I so? Take thou that! Ow, your wits and bearing too? Pox, oh, your bottle, this is a sack and drinking dew. Ha, ha, ha. Now forward with your tale. Come, proceed. Why, as I told thee, tis a custom with him. In the afternoon to sleep, there thou mayst brain him, having first seized his books, for without them he's but a sot as I am, nor hath not one spirit to command. Burn but his books, and that most deeply to consider is the beauty of his daughter. Is it so, a brave lass? Ay, lord, she will become thy bed. I warrant and bring forth brave brood. Monster, I will kill this man. His daughter and I will be king and queen. Save our graces. And Trinculo and thyself shall be viceroys. Dost thou like the plot, Trinculo? Excellent. Give me thy hand. I am sorry I beat thee. But while thou livest, keep a good tongue in thy head. Within this half hour, will he be asleep? Wilt thou destroy him then? I, on mine honor. This old tone of monster. I'm full of pleasure. Ban, ban, what is this sound? Ban, ban, Forgive me my sins. Be not afeard. 
The aisle is full of noises, sounds and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears and sometimes voices that if had waked after a long sleep will make me sleep again. And then in dreaming, the clouds methought would open and show riches ready to drop upon me that when I waked, I cried to dream again. This will prove a brave kingdom to me where I shall have my music for nothing. When Prospero is destroyed, lead monster will follow. By your Lincoln, I can go no further, sir. My old bones ache. By your patience, I needs must rest me. Oh, Lord, I cannot blame thee, who am myself attached with weariness to the dulling of my spirits. Sit down and rest. Even here I will put off my hope and keep it no longer for my flatterer. He is drowned whom thus we stray to find, and this sea mocks our frustrate Sir John. Well, let him go. I am right glad he is so out of hope. Do not for one repulse forego the purpose that you resolve to effect. The next advantage will we take thoroughly. Let it be tonight, for now they are oppressed with travel. I say, tonight, no more. What harmony is this, my good friends? Hark! Marvelous sweet music! Give us kind keepers, heavens. What were these? Now I shall believe that there are unicorns. If in Naples, I should report this now. Would they believe me? They vanish so strangely. No matter, since they have left their beyond behind, for we have stomachs. You are three men of sin, whom destiny hath caused to belch up you and on this island. You, amongst men, being most unfit to live. I have made you mad. You fools. You three did supplant good Prospero, exposed unto the sea, which hath requited him and his innocent child. For which foul deed the powers, delaying, not forgetting, have incensed the seas and shores, yea, all the creatures against your peace. Thee of thy son, Alonzo, they have bereft, and do pronounce by me lingering perdition. Worse than any death can be at once, shall step by step attend you and your ways. Upon your heads is nothing but heart sorrow, and a clear life ensuing. My high charms work, and these mine enemies are all knit up in their distractions. They now are in my power, and in these fits I leave them. In the name of something holy, sir, why stand you in this strange stare? Oh, it is monstrous, monstrous. Methought the bellows spoke and told me of it. The winds did sing it to me, and the thunder, that deep and dreadful organ pipe, pronounced the name of Prospero. All three of them are desperate, their great guilt, like poison given to work a great time after. Now gins to battle their spirits. I must follow them swiftly and hinder them from what this ecstasy may now provoke them to. If I have too austerely punished you, your compensation makes amends. For I have given you here a third of mine own life or that for which I live. All thy vexations were but my trials of thy love, and thou hast strangely stood the test here. Afore heaven I ratify this, my rich gift. O Ferdinand, thou shalt find she will outstrip all praise and make it halt behind her. I do believe it. Sit then and talk with her. She is thine own. What, Ariel, my industrious servant, Ariel? What would my potent master? Here I am. Go, bring the rabble. For I must bestow upon the eyes of this young couple some vanity of mine art. Presently? Aye, with a twink. Before you can say, come and go, and breathe twice, and say, so, so, each one tripping on his toe will be here with mop and mow. Do you love me, master? 
No? Dearly, my delicate Ariel. Well, it conceive. Look thou, be true. I warrant you, sir, I- No tongue, all eyes, be silent. Hail, Iris, many-colored messenger, why hath thy queen summoned me hither to the short grass green? Ceres, most bountiful lady, a contract of true love to celebrate, and some donation freely to a state on the blessed lovers. Highest queen of state, great Juno comes, I know by her gate. How does my bounteous sister go with me to bless this twain, that they may prosperous be and honored in their issue? Honor, riches, marriage, blessing, long continuance and increasing. Hourly joys be still upon you, Juno sings the blessings upon you. Earth's in Boys in plenty, barns and garners, never empty. Vines and clustering bunches growing, plants with goodly birth and bowing. Spring come to you at the farthest, in the very end of harvest, scarcely and one shall shun you. Series blessing, so is on you. I forgot that foul conspiracy of the beast Caliban and his confederates against my life. The minute of their plot is almost come. Well done, avoid no more. The strange. Your father's in some passion that works him strongly. Never till this day saw I him touched with anger so distempered. You do look, my son, in a moved sort, as if you were dismayed. Be cheerful, sir. Our revels now are ended. These, our actors, as I foretold you, were all spirits and are melted into air, into thin air. And, like the baseless fabric of this vision, the cloud-capped towers, the gorgeous palaces, the solemn temples, the great globe itself, ye all which it inherit, shall dissolve and... Like this insubstantial pageant faded, leave not a rack behind. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. Sir, I am vexed. Bear with my weakness. My brain is troubled. Be not disturbed with my infirmity. If you please, retire into my cell, and there repose eternal to a walk to my still beating mind. We wish, we your, wish peace. your peace. Come, with a thought I thank thee, Ariel. Come. I thought I cleave to. What's thy pleasure? Spirit, we must prepare to meet with Caliban. Say again, where didst thou leave these varlets? They were run out with drinking, and lost who left them, in the filthy mantled pool beyond your cell. They're dancing up to the chins, with a foul lake overstunk their feet. This was well done, my bird. The trumpery in my house. Go bring it hither, for still to catch these thieves. I go, I go. Devil, a born devil, on whose nature nurture can never stick, so is mine cankers. I will plague them all, even to roaring. Are you, tread softly, that blind mole may not hear a footfall? We are now near his cell. Monster, your fairy has played the jack with us. Monster, I do smell horse piss, by which my nose is in great indignation. So is mine. Do you hear, monster? Good, my lord. Speak softly. All's hushed as the midnight yet. Aye, but to lose our bottles in the stinking pool? An infinite loss. Prithee, my king, be quiet. No noise and enter. Do thy good mischief that might make this island thine own forever. I do begin to have bloody thoughts. O King Stefano, look at a wardrobe is here for thee. Let it alone, thou fool. It is not but trash. O King Stefano. Put off that gown, Shigula. By this hand, I'll have that gown. Thy grace shall have it. Let's alone and do the murder first. If ye awake. Be you quiet, monster. 
we shall lose our time and all be turned into barnacles. Monster, help to bear this away, or I'll turn you out of my kingdom. Go to, carry this. And this. A, and this. <laughs> Now they roar. Let them be hunted soundly. At this hour lie at mercy all mine enemies. Shortly shall all my labors end, and thou shalt have the air at freedom. Now does my project gather to a head. My charms crack not, my spirits obey, and time goes upright with his carriage. How's the day? On the sixth hour, at which time, my lord, you said our work should cease. I did say so, and first I raised the tempest. Say, my spirit, how fares the king and his followers? Confined together, they cannot budge till your release. The king, his brother, and yours abide all three distracted. The good old lord Gonzalo mourns over them. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reed. Your charm so strongly works him that if you now beheld them, your affections would become tender. Dost thou think so, spirit? Mine would, sir, were I human. And mine shall. Hast thou, which art but air, a touch, a feeling of their afflictions, and shall not myself, one of their kind, be kindlier moved than thou art? Though I am struck to the quick, yet the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. I'll fetch them, sir. I have bedimmed the noontide sun, called forth the mutinous winds, and twixt the green sea and the azured vaults at roaring war. To the dread rattling thunder have I given fire, and rifted Jove's stout oak with his own bolt. The strong base promontory have I made shake, and by the spurs plucked up the pine and cedar. Graves at my command have waked their sleepers, oped and let them forth by my so potent art. But this rough magic I hear abjure. I'll break my staff, bury it certain fathoms in the earth. And, and deeper, deeper than, did than ever, ever plummet, plummet sound, sound, I'll drown my book. A solemn air and the best comforter, to an unsettled fancy cure thy brains, now useless, boiled within thy skull. There stand, for you are spell stopped. The charm dissolves the pace, and as the morning steals upon the night, melting the darkness, so their rising senses begin to chase the ignorant fumes that mantle their clearer reason. Ariel, spirit, thou shalt ere long be free. Where the bee sucks, there suck I. In a cow's lips bell I lie There I couch when owls do cry On the bat's back I do fly After summer merrily Merrily, merrily shall I live now Under the blossom that hangs Why, that's my dainty Ariel. I shall miss thee, but yet you shalt have freedom. So, 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 to the king's ship, the master and the bosun being awake, enforce them to this place. I drink the air before me, or ear your pulse twice beat. Some heavenly power, guide us from this fearful country. Behold, Sir King, the wrong Duke of Milan, Prospero. 
the affliction of my mind amends, with which I fear a madness held me. Thy dukedom I resign, and do entreat thou pardon me my wrongs. First, noble friend, my good Gonzalo, my true preserver and a loyal sir. Whether this be or be not, I'll not swear. You do yet taste some subtleties of the isle that will not let you believe things certain. Welcome, my friends all. But you, my brakes of lords, were I so minded I could pluck his highness's frown upon you and justify you traitors. But at this time, I will tell no tales. The devil speaks in him. No! For you, most wicked sir, whom to call brother would even infect my mouth, I do forgive thy rankest fault. All of them. Oh, I have lost how sharp the point of this remembrance is. My dear son, Fernand. I am woe for it, sir. Irreparable is the loss, and patience says it is past her cure. As great to me as late, for I have lost my daughter. A daughter? Oh, heavens, when did he lose your daughter? In this last tempest, my dukedom since you have given me again, I will requite you with as good a thing. Sweet lord, you play me false. No, my dear love, I would not for the world. Yes, and for a score of kingdoms you should wrangle, and I would call it fair play. If, if this prove a vision of the island, a dear son shall I twice lose. A most high miracle. Though the sea is threatened, they are merciful. I have cursed them without cause. Now all the blessings of a glad father compass thee about. Oh, wonder, how many goodly creatures are there here? How beauteous mankind is, O oh, brave new world with such people in it. Tis new to thee. Oh, how oddly will it sound that I have to ask my child for forgiveness. There, sir, stop. Let us not burden our remembrance with the heaviness that's gone. Give me your hands. Let grief and sorrow still embrace his heart that doth not wish you joy. Oh, be it so. Amen. Oh, look, sir, look, sir. Here's more of us. What is the news? The best news is we have safely found our king and company. The next, our ship. It is tight and yare, and is bravely rigged as when we first put out to sea. What's well done, master? Bravely, my diligence. Thou shalt be free. Set Caliban and his companions free. Untie the spell. How, How fair, fair is my, my gracious, gracious sir? sir. There are yet missing of your company some few odd lads that you remember not. All is but fortune. Coraggio, bully monster. C courage. Here's a goodly sight. All these be brave spirits indeed. How, how fine my master is. I'm afraid he'll chastise me. Two of these fellows you must know and own. This thing of darkness I acknowledge mine. I shall be pinched to death. Is this not Stefano, my drunken butler? And Trinculo is reeling right. I've been in such a pickle since I saw you last. Why, how now, Stefano? Oh, touch me not. I am not Stefano, but a cramp. You'd be king of the isle, Sierra. I should have been a sore one then. Hence and bestow your luggage where you found it. What a thrice double ass I was to take this drunkard for a god and worship this dull fool. Go, Sira. Look to have my pardon. Aye, that I will. I'll be wise hereafter and seek for grace. Sir, I invite your highness and your train to board your ship where you shall take your rest for this one night. And so to Naples where I hope to see the nuptial of these our dear beloved solemnized. And thence retire me to my Milan, where every third thought shall be my grave. I long to hear the story of your life, which must take the ear strangely. I'll deliver all, and promise you calm seas, auspicious gales, and sail expeditious. My Ariel, chick, that is thy charge. Then, to the elements, be free. 
and fare thou well. Draw near. Please you, draw near. Please you, draw near. Now my charms, my charms are all o'erthrown. And what strength I have's mine own, which is most faint. Now, tis true, I must be here, confined by you. I must be here, confined by you, or sent to Naples. Or sent to Naples. Let me not, since I have my dukedom got. And pardon the deceiver. Dwell in this bare island by your spell. In this bare island by your spell. But release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Gentle breath of yours my sails must fill. Gentle breath of yours my sails must fill. Or else my project fails, which was to please. Now I want spirits to enforce, art to enchant. Art to enchant, and my ending is despair. And my ending is despair. Unless I be relieved by prayer, which pierces so that it assaults mercy itself and frees all faults. And frees all faults. As you from crimes would pardon be, as you from crimes would pardon be, let your indulgence set me free. Set me free.